video is brought to you by ChannelFireball.com. Check out CFB for free strategy videos and articles from the best players in the world. You can also use the code GABBY at checkout to get 5% off any purchase. Hello everybody on YouTube and welcome! We are playing with uh, Self Mill today. This is actually the deck that I'm using for the Viper Brood 2 Try Hard Boogaloo tournament, which is just the tournament we have with subs uh, on Discord that's going on over the next five weeks. So I actually already played my match against Yuka and I lost. <laughs> but we have five more weeks to try to rally the troops and, and get a couple victories. I actually think this deck is not bad. It's... It's really fun. Um, it has some interesting play patterns. It's not the most competitive deck, obviously. We're playing self mill and standard. That's never going to be super competitive. But let me tell you about how it works. So the most important card in the deck is Drown Secrets. Uh, we basically want to get Drown Secrets into play. And then everything that we uh, use to cast uh, can then we also target ourselves with Drown Secrets to mill Arglide Phoenixes and Creeping Chills and also Narcomoeba. So if you just mill Narcomoeba, you get it in play. Then you need three spells for Arclight Phoenix to get it back. And Creeping Chills just helps you like dome your opponent for a little bit every time you're milling as well. You have Mission Briefings, which help you recast your spells from the graveyard. It's also really good at helping you get the Phoenixes back that turn. Because on turn five, you can do like two mana spell, Mission Briefing, and one mana spell from the yard. Um, sometimes on turn four, you can go like Mission Briefing, spell from the yard, and then a cantrip from your hand. That's one mana, and you can get the Arclight Phoenixes back that way. Uh, Discovery is just really good at helping you also put stuff into the yard and um, finding your card draw spells. Opt is just a cheap enabler. Maximize Altitude is also just a one cheap enabler just to make sure that you're able to get the Phoenixes back reliably. Merfolk Secret Keeper is so sick in this deck. Venture Deeper is actually a sorcery, so it helps getting Arclight Phoenix back. Also, you can unsummon, put it back into your hand, play it, and then replay it. And if you have Drawn Seekers in play, you get to mill a bunch of stuff. So... That's a little bit about this deck. I've been playing it a bunch on ranked. It's actually not been that bad. <laughs> I have a sideboard here, but I've been playing best of one because I really, truly do think this is the best of one deck. Uh, we have an Aether Gust to Disdainful Stroke against big spells. Vantra's Gargoyle can be a decent blocker. I kind of feel like it's not super reliable because you need to have four cards in hand. So you do need a lot of card draw. A lot of times this deck goes down to like no cards in hand. Brazen Borrower for like Jukes. Mystical Dispute for green and blue spells. Or sorry, for just blue spells. Ashok Dream Runder for the mirror. <laughs> And Jace Wilder and Mysteries if you want the alt win con. So something interesting that does happen with this deck is a lot of times you end up milling them. Multiple times we had to pivot because my opponent like tutored for Grafticker's Cage out of the sideboard or something. So that is something to keep in mind. You, like, if you ever get Grafticker's Cage, you need to just immediately go into the milling plan because you can't possibly win. You're streaming your Maturina right now? I love it! Wait, where are you on your channel, Slubars? Because I would like to check that out. Holy moly, this hand is like abysmal because everything here is something we don't want in our hand. We just want it in the deck. We're going to have to take a mulligan. Oh, It's going to be on your channel. Are you, are you live and streaming right now? Can I bird it? Because that would be cool. Uh, oof. Well, we are getting like the worst possible hands. Oh, I thought you said that you were streaming it right now and I was confused. Don't worry, Slubars. Uh, I think we mulligan this one again. It's just too bad. This one we keep. We've been the maximized altitude in one of the discoveries. Been for a few months. What decks? Uh, the the go-to decks for drafting? Um, mostly... No, oh, we hit an Archimeba. Oh, we hit a Phoenix. That was a good hit. Mostly just Mill is like the deck that's most popular right now in Arena. You don't really remember who you're playing. Caroline, what are you playing? I don't think I've seen your deck list. You're playing Fires? Fun. Is there anything spicy? There's there's gonna be... Oh, no, that was Lady. Lady has like the... Oof. Wow, I didn't quite expect that. You panicked because I was flying to Phoenix. Oh, there isn't even a Kenny? You should have put a Slothers in the sideboard just for... Just for kicks. No, they're gonna bounce Monarch sure Amoeba. Hi, Molly! Ooh, look at that. Molly is the bits leader. That's pretty cool. 
think we have to slow roll some of the stuff actually to try to get Phoenix back. I think we just play Narcomiba hard cast in this thing. Molly, look at the badge you got. You're the bits leader. That's more like it. Someone gifted 350. Yeah, the did you guys see the new leaderboards? They're pretty cool. I'm playing Grixis Adventure against Ladies Monorad. I'm pretty scared. I'm gonna get totally wrecked. Her deck looks super aggro. It does. I did she Wow, they just keep bouncing my stuff. So rude. Why didn't they bounce my Morphic Secret Keeper? That would make me happy. Um okay. Let's try to find the land. Oh, hello. That actually is good. That means we can get a Phoenix back. I think we should do this. Just so that we can kill stupid Teferi. Top bit. Into top bit. Uh, no. Bottom nut. Okay. Well, we do get to kill the Teferi, which is something. Not that we're in great shape or anything. I'm just hoping I can play enough two, three life linkers to enter the God Eternals and not die immediately. What is it, My Little Pony Slaves? They're for charity! Look! They're also so cute. Classic creeping chills. We have so many of them. One of our watery graves is in the, in the yard, too. Does anyone play Team Reclamation Expansion Explosion in the community turn? You love that deck with cheer 100%. I think there is one, right? There is one! Love it! Whose is it? Do you remember, Molly? Uh, I'm gonna just play hard cast my narco Miba, I think. You're playing team wreck nonsense against Monorid too. We'll have to do work. Gatekeeper, maybe another person. All right. This is not looking ideal. We need a secret plans like pronto. Uh, we can start nugging them, I guess. So bad, we just drew two of them. Well, they got us. Oh, Maxwell is as well. No, we got time wiped. We can't bring anything. I think we can kick this off and see if we draw. Like, like if we get a discovery dispersal. Uh, I think we can try to go deep with this. Just hope for the best. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Nice! We did it! Merfolk Secret Keeper. Mill myself. Oh, we hit another Phoenix. That's so good. My opponent's on the deck that's something me. I actually want to try playing this deck. It looks fun. Okay. We did a good job getting that stuff back. There is another creepy chill in our hand. We haven't exiled any of them, right? Nope. The most important part is to never forget to put stops on your end steps. Oh, with the uh, Teamer Reclamation decks. I remember testing for the Mythic Invitational with Teamer Reclamation. It was miserable. Uh, yeah, I guess they die. Ooh, I do like that. Hmm. I think we have to sit tight on the... I think we still mill ourselves. I was hoping to like hit a Narcomiba or something. I think we're gonna have to go... Next turn we're gonna have to go like... Creeping Chill, Unsummon the Mer Merfolk Secret Keeper, and then replay Merfolk Secret Keeper and hopefully that's enough. Hi my love! Hey my dear! Hi! Aww! She's a good dog. <laughs> Repelling the intruders from the house. What do you want to do for food, my dear? So I was just coming to ask you. Yeah, I figured that's what you wanted. Your deck's been fun to watch. It's been really fun to play. <laughs> oh, good dog. Good dog. Oh, yeah. oh, good dog. He's a good dog. Oh, some dog pickups. 
Is there a way to permit that end stuff? Stop. Psh. That seems like it would be a reasonable ask, but no, there isn't. <laughs> Pikao <-ko. laughs> Yeah, what do you want to do for food, my love? Oh, that was a good draw. I want to fire up soon. Yeah, of course. So, if you want me to order her, man, you're gonna be. What if I try and get so we got here around seven fifteen, seven thirty? Sounds perfect. Because then you're in a position to pick it up. Yeah. No, 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 no. I even played the bait spell too. Oh yeah, we have both like Dogger slash Louis foot cam. <laughs> That's so. Why are you so good, dude? One time I found a website that had pictures of my feet. Like, it was it was a foot archive website. So there are people on the internet who would pay for pictures of my feet. But there's way more people who would pay for pictures of your feet. Just so you know. Thank you. <laughs> it's so. It was like so not cool. I was so not happy with it. I know what the foot is right. It's a website that that archives people's feet, and so it was like pictures of like things that I posted on Instagram and like random shots of the stream where my feet were showing. Oh, we hit an Arclight Phoenix! Oh, it's not about kink shaming, Cradish. I just really didn't like that my feet were up there. I don't know. It made me uncomfortable. It's like if you if you're into foot fetish, there's like foot fetish models, right? It's about Gabby never really consented to that. It's yeah, like I don't know. I just I do not like it. I it it I am not 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 happy with it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why fair? That's terrible. That, that, where, where is this horrible website? Just because you know there's so many. Why do they always have time wipe? <laughs> All right, we're actually doing fine though. I get to go secret keeper. Hold on, how many? 22. Alright, you're just gonna order something? I mean, I'm into that. That sounds fine. And we have... Oh yeah, we do have an LSB cam going there. I'm just gonna keep milling myself, because if I hit... Um, I mean, I think they're just dead already. That that is Louis. That is Louis Louis in the ground. Did he really? Kind of feels like he should have done that. It feels feels shellfish knock too. Shouldn't I have more creepy chills somewhere in here, or am I am I just like whatever? They're they're just dead. Oh, I guess if they have unsummon, they're. Okay, well, they were dead. If they had unsummoned, they would have not died, and I should have kept digging to find the last phoenix. Yeah, you should, you should put a, you should put a point on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> this deck is super fun. Oh, look at this dog. Oh. So, someone asked me why I always tweak things in Pacific time when I live in Denver. I'm like. Because well, literally no one game in game the game world game knows it. Not only live in Pacific time, but also just know what it is because that's a common time. Dude, I feel like nobody knows what, like, mountain time is. Yeah. Like, it's not a real time zone. Yeah. Mountain time is clearly the burliest of all time zones. It's literally called the mountain time. Is mountain supposed to be burly? Uh, oh, God. This hand seems bad. I don't know, I feel like this deck just doesn't function without secret plans, right? Drum secrets? Hmm? Drum secrets? That one, that one. you a magic fan, name all the magic cards. Louise, no, can we figure out food? Can we figure out food? I told you what I was gonna do. Are you really just gonna order something? Bin Narcomiba. This at least I can bin eventually. Only second to <laughs> Lumberjack time and burliness. Uh, I think the roads are open for delivery. They they ha they do a good job here plowing stuff. Like, it's not fun to go outside, but it is like people can go back. 
Is it still snowing? We we ended up agreeing on like if you tip well. Yeah. That that's where I ended up. Yeah. I like so. you should tip well, but I, I'm happy to tip like fifty percent more than I would have or something instead of tipping. You know, I tip on food orders probably around like fifteen percent or so depending on the order size. Mm -hmm. But tipping like over twenty percent, and then because there are people who are working today who I assume would rather get orders rather than get no orders. Right. I think it also depends if you're if you're doing like Postmates, like mm -hmm. where you offer yourself up. Do I know what Dulce de Leche is? Of course I do. It's fantastic. Yeah, I think so too, Slubers. I We had this discussion on stream the other day. I think it was a pretty good discussion too. But I do really think that... Oh, it ticked up. Interesting. I think we just have to try to mill. Get a radical idea. Can we hit... We do need the land, so I can bin the maximize altitude, because that's no good. Um, yeah, sure. I am taking donut decks right now, Team Kessa, if you want to take a look. Or if you want to send me some stuff. If if you want, you can also just, like, whisper it to me and I can get back to you after stream. It's hard. It's a little harder for me to look at it while I'm live. Uh, let's attack to fairy, I guess? Enough. Why are you asking about Dulce de Leche, Fire Shark? You found some in the shops here? I'm so jealous! Oh my god, it's like one of my favorite things. I love it. Um, back home, people love having it for breakfast. Like, like it's just one of the toppings that you get with like toast or whatever. It's super good. I think so, Craddish. Elvish Reclaimer? What is going on here? Woo! Wow, my opponent is on some super sweet brew. I love it. That's so cool. Okay, so I think we radical idea binning our Clyde Phoenix. If we find a land here, we can actually uh, get back the Arclight Phoenix. Give me land, give me land, give me land. Rats. Didn't get there. Why? Why do they have that? That's super strange. I'm gonna have to sit tight. I, I am like somewhat tempted of just unsummoning their Elvish Reclaimer. But why though? Oh, don't worry, Fire Shark. I actually can get Dulce de Leche. There's a, there's a store here that sells it. So, but I really appreciate it. You're you're very sweet. You know you can also make um, Dulce de Leche with. Oh, hello. This is weird. Yeah, I'll take the hit. You if you put a can of condensed milk into a crock pot and let it cook on slow for a really long time, it it eventually becomes Dulce de Leche as well, which is pretty cool. All right, so we can mission briefing. Target ourselves. Yeah, my opponent's playing a cool one. Okay, uh, hit put Narc Amoeba into the yard. I actually wouldn't mind keeping a Discovery Dispersal on top for just for us. Um, oh, I guess we're gonna bin it anyways. Actually, I, I messed up. I shouldn't have. Alright, so then we get the Unsummon. Hey, hey, Phantom, how are you? Put it onto the battlefield, of course. Yeah, I don't think she was gonna get a walk today. She she gets walked a lot and consistently, but today's just like such a oh, look at that dog. Oh, mm. oh it's my poochie. Oh my god, dog cuddle so good. Hi. Mm -hmm. God, that dog is so good. Uh, we might as well jump this and bin the phoenix. <gasps> I hit another one! Look, 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 I'm gonna do the thing, look! I did the thing! Yeah, that's my plan. I'm gonna kill all their planeswalkers. Amazing! Oh, I even have dog on the camera right now. Look at that dog. Can we order Italian? 
either like a linguine vongole or something with spicy Italian sausage. Don't judge me! Why are you judging me, my dear? Karin the Grey Creator? What is my opponent doing? This is the content, exactly. Uriel, I can promise you, you'll always get that here. Oh, wow. Okay, 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 okay. That is a problem. Holy moly. I guess if you have a wish board, you might as well do that. <laughs> Why do people keep playing Graph Digger's Cage against me? This is stupid. We should probably kill Karn as my guess. Uh, okay, let's go to attacks. Let's hit one at Karn, two at them. Why is this being so weird? Alright, mission briefing is... I think we have to start milling them, by the way. Just because we don't have, like... There's no reason to mill us. Oh, I was supposed to send Narkumi, but I don't know why it stayed back. I thought I had... Oh, I was deciding how they were attacking. I guess now two Narcomigos could block an Elvish Reclaimer. As long as there are three or more land cards in your yard. How many are there? Golos. There's... Yeah, Creeping Chill, I guess, doesn't technically get cast, so that's something. Uh, we might still want to target ourselves. There's, there's three left in the deck. That seems useful enough. So what is Inner Planner Beacon, Inner Planner Beacon, Inner Planner Beacon, Inner Planner Beacon, Teferi. Ugh. I do not have Jay's Wilder Mystery. I have one in the sideboard, not in the main deck. Hey Lancaster, how are you? Lancaster, I haven't seen you in a bit. How are you? How does Karn work in best of one? Uh, you, you build a sideboard and that becomes your wish board, is the way it works. Look, my Narco Beacons are holding back that Elvish Reclaimer. Taste it. Done the hero, hero thing, thing before. Yeah, we can't actually cast the Phoenix, unfortunately. We're gonna have to open it at some point. Oh, we got to eat one of those Elvish Reclaimers. I think we are just on the milling plan. Yeah, Luis is streaming today. He's gonna fire up in... He's not here right now, Third Eye Chion, but he is gonna go fire up in a second. He was just figuring out the food plan and then... And then food is a go. Alright, I think... 31 cards, 40 cards. What is more... How are we more... They have an inner planner beacon, which makes me feel we're not super likely to kill them by milling them. Or sorry, by damage. So I think I'm just gonna target them. Of course, they're like Chion, no worries. Yeah, mill plan is a go. I repeat, mill plan is a go. They're down to 32. Alright, we're doing some work. Uh, we can send this at the fairy, these two at them. So we're kind of attacking on all fronts, actually. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Okay. I kind of want to wait to get another drawn secrets um, before I unsummon my Merfolk Secret Keeper. Where are my drawn secrets? There's one in the yard, so there's two more in the deck. Look at their deck. Their deck is so cool, I love it. Yeah, RG Tonic, I feel like having one Blood Crypt could be okay in this deck, just for kicks. Okay, uh, at this point they get to start activating Golos. Yeah, that's bad for me. Oh, sorry, Steam Vents. Yeah, you're totally right. Um, it has to be a blue one. So another Nissa, an Oko, and another Golos. Yeah, the Nissa seems pretty good. Honestly, them activating Golos is kind of good for me, so... Just resolve everything. And they also should just replay their Golos, because then they get to make a uh, Zombie. Oh, no. Sorry, field is banned. They can't do that. Uh, that ain't that ain't no thing. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. 
I know exactly. They little do they know they dealt themselves three damage, <laughs> three deck damage. Yeah, I'm living in the past too. I'm like, oh, they're gonna get filled with that. Then they're gonna start making zombies. <laughs> oh no, wait, Lancaster. That's been a long time. Was the transformer plus one? That's a good question, Milk and Bag. I think a lot of people are asking themselves that question. If we're being honest. Yeah, we should play like two steam vents, I think. Just to have the option to cast Dark Light Phoenix in case something like this ever happens. We have lost the Graf Graf Digger's Cage twice. Where is our other watery grave? There's two in the yard. There's some still in our deck. I guess it's... Yeah, bouncing the keeper is probably the play. I just want to have another John Secrets in play before I do this. Briefing doesn't do anything because it's just a trigger. There's Graf Digger's Cage in play. I probably still do all of this though. Like, it's probably worth still doing it. That would be nice, Christopher. That would be a really weird errata if they did it, but I think that would actually fix a lot of problems with Oko, funnily enough. Um, might as well mission briefing. Definitely don't want to draw that. Keeping on someone on top is sweet, though. Alright, so now I just like say on summon, but I obviously can't cast it because Graf Digger's Cage. My Phoenix gets debated. Okay, so now we attack. Uh, what should we attack? I guess trying to kill Oko is better. Put Oko down to one. You fear your truth. So they're down to 14. Uh, then with Merfolk Secret Keeper, we cast on summon, that's two. So that's 12. Um, Secret Keeper, so that's 4. So that's 8. Um, then Replay, Secret Keeper, that's another 2. That's 6. Gaze into my face Did I win my Viper Pitch match? No, I didn't. I played a super interesting game uh, versus Yuka. The second game. The first game I got, like, just destroyed. Second game was actually, we went down to, like, my last card. We played it on stream. It was fun. In our planner beacons for days. I am hard. Stand down. Empty Jewish ten minus one stickers via mail. <laughs> Here's a question, chat. That is a thick amount of months, Louise. Thank you so much for the 55 months. That's so many months. That's a thick amount of months. Louise, it's so cool that you're one of the first subscribers on this channel. I did not actually realize you were in the top five. That is awesome. Or top 25, I want to say, is like the amount of badges that you get given out. But that's really cool. Also, it looks like Luis is setting up to stream now. That's fun. Um, I think it's 20. Yeah, I think it's 10 for affiliates or 15. Oh my, it's Luis, stop. Oh, Meteor Golem, no. What are they gonna golem? If they take my Merfolk Secret Keeper, it's actually a huge problem. Okay, they chose not to cast it. That's good for me, I suppose. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worms rule. Okay. What's their plan, though? What is their grand plan? <laughs> my Narcomiba got upgraded. <laughs> No! No, 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 no. Don't kill. Okay, they. Oh gosh, they killed my ground secrets. That's a pretty big problem. They're down to 11. Well, now I don't know if we can win. I guess I just block here. 
Alright, so I think we just have to sit tight. We are dead next turn, are we? How? I don't see how we're dead next turn. We're not doing great, but... God, this deck would be- this deck would actually be better if we had, um, run away together. Ooh, self-mill? Love it. <laughs> They're down to seven? I- I think we might be able to pull this off even... Sure. Yeah, run away together is good in this deck. Let me resolve this. We might be able to pull it off with a uh, Merfolk Secret Keeper. Whatever your plans, they're statistically likely to fail. My opponent has so much garbage. My Ooh, what are they getting? Ooh, Brazen Borrower would be good against like the Graft Digger's Cage. Wanda Vertebrae? Holy moly, put the top card of your library into your graveyard. Exile Wanda Vertebrae, shuffle up to five target cards from your graveyard into your library. Ooh, well then. The people are running this in their sideboard. Are you for reals? I can't handle. Cardboard Life can handle all the walkers. There goes our mill plan. If if we still get secret plans, then we'll be we'll have enough triggers. My opponent went so deep. They they did not forget their scuba gear. Good lord. They don't have good attacks, at least. Our Arclight Phoenixes and Arkham was are holding down the ground. Hey Fauna Death, how are you? Boo. Oh my gosh, chat. I'm really, really excited for y'all to see the costume that I got for Julie this year. I she's gonna be so cute. Uh yeah, Lancaster, I think they actually said that they're not gonna do it. I think they straight up just said that. Wolfsark, thank you so much for the five months. Welcome back to the brood. I think they know that a lot of things are wrong, but they are planning on... They are not going to make bans until the two days after the Pro Tour, I want to say. Can somebody in chat correct me? They could swap Graf Digger for one of our creatures. Yeah, that would be annoying. Yeah, they definitely tweeted that out. Uh... Rise, my elemental friend. Which is also brutal because that's the second really large tournament that they're gonna like, people are gonna play and are excited, presumably excited to see what the, what decks the pros build for and then like two days later, it's not gonna be the format anymore. And that just has been the case before, like that was the case at the Mythic Championship 5. What's... Your new look is enchanting. Sure. Pass to blockers. Uh, we have to block here, 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 and here, and then we take six. Because I'm really trying to slow roll to see if we can draw into secret plans. I think we really, really need that. Okay, ow. Okay. Secret plans! No! Creeping chill how? Could this have happened? They're down to 12 cards. Because if I had a secret plans there, I could go secret plans, unsummon is two, Merfolk Secret Keeper is another four, recast Merfolk Secret Keeper is another two. I believe we are dead now. I know, drawing Creeping Chills has been a disaster. We are kind of Dobbs on Italian. Look at this, my opponent has so many walkers. Postmates is pretty bad right now. Luis, just make an executive decision. Just order something that sounds good to you. The land 
shall conquer you. Oh, draw secret plans. I keep calling it secret plans. Drown <laughs> secrets. The humor here. They are at 11. Oof. <laughs> there is great power in the things you make. There is elegance in simplicity. Oof. So if we chump one of these and unsummon this, we take three, six, nine. No yeah. More. Also, I they just you. bounce my thingy. Wow, that Graf Digger's cage! It does feel like Paul owes Luis delivery. Maybe he should get us some food. <laughs> oh, that's right. We also can't unsummon because there was a Teferi in play. That's right. Okay, we were basically dead in many, many ways. Alright, it. you know what time it is? It's that time of the day. It's time to restart Arena because it can't handle us. Does Casa Bonita deliver? Oh my gosh. Somebody was just asking us about Casa Bonita the other day. And while I don't think I would go back, it was such a fun experience. Like, everything that you saw in the South Park episode about Casa Bonita, that's actually what it's like. Like, including the cliff divers somehow. Oh, somebody. It was Sponzi. That's right. I honestly, I couldn't remember where it was. <laughs> I just remember we were talking about it. Standard ranked. Have you been there, Ark? Oh my gosh, the food is unbelievably bad. Like, not like not even Luis liked it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really really bad, but it's also like really really fun. Have you realized that this only has? Four fingers. I guess Vidal can only have four fingers. That's kind of weird. I, I hadn't noticed before. Oh. Do we keep this? I guess we kind of do. It's not very good. Does Luis normally eat gross food? No, I just think that his tolerance for eating. Oh, my opponent mulligan to five? You have a chance. We're about to have a game. I feel like Luis eats a lot of, like, pretty mediocre food. Hello. And is okay with it. So if he says the food is terrible, then it must it must be terrible. Oh, nice, DC. Our opponent likes that we're playing self-mill. Okay. Um... T. I don't see Luis defending himself, so... <laughs> okay, we're playing against Edgewall Innkeeper. Uh, uh, I would like a, to draw a land. That would make me happy. You're trying to order food? <laughs> I know, I wanted one of the secret plans. Uh, I guess we just play this idiot. We have one Arclight Phoenix in the yard. We really, really, really need a head of land next turn. Yeah, should I have entrusted Luis with the privilege of ordering our food if he's gonna order Casa Bonita? I feel like I shouldn't. Oh wow, we are getting crushed. Just play a second Secret Keeper and pass. I mean, my opponent got Mulligan to five, but our hand is terrible, so we're actually gonna have a game. Yeah, I might have to unsummon that thing. Come on, give me land. Oh, it's really not intentional. I always keep... I'm never going to learn the name. People are just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, we do true two of our clays. Thank God! Okay. So we can watery grave into mission briefing... I guess we could slow roll one more turn. Nah, I think we should just play this. Pay two and mission briefing until one mana. Spell. Oh, I like that. Hold on. I want to draw that. And I also want to draw my land. It was a very good card, to be fair. Yeah, Secret Blance was really fun. Also, Drawn Secrets has been really fun too. Bunch of haters in chat. Do I actually keep Drawn Secrets? I think I have to. And then just 
So I think I go like this, and then I opt and draw the island. Nice, okay, and then next turn I get to gr draw that Drowned Secret, and we're off to the races or something. Secret plans and standard would be interesting. I don't know if I want another morph standard. Maybe I do. It was fun. It was pretty easy to know which morphs were being played in which deck. There was like no element of surprise. That limited format was really fun. Wow, my opponent's going off. I think they're gonna Elefante. Yes, they are. They're comboing off. Their deck looks better than ours. Which is better, a standard full of two twos or a standard full of three twos? That's good beats. Good beats. They did have Elefante. Ugh, we're so dead. <laughs> exactly, it's Ponzi. I think we're Dobbs. Well, let's just get out of here. I really don't think we can win. We were gonna have a hard time winning before the fight day. And they have an answer to drown secrets too. Yeah, they have the flax and intruder as well. It 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 really felt like we were just too slow. I mean, we missed our second land drop for so long. How does this hand look? Slow. No drown secrets. Ah, uh, Lancaster, I don't think they have. I think we're gonna keep this. It's a little slow, but I think we'll survive. I don't think they fixed the draft bots. Uh, they, they did one update of them that didn't actually like fix things. Yeah, define fix. It's supposed to be better now, but I don't think it's good. It's still mostly just like playing against mill cards. Oh, I actually wanted that. Because mm. I will block a bunch of their stuff. I do want that. Hello, friends. Lady! Lady, how are you? It's so good to see you. They fixed them in M20 and everyone just drafted UB Bow. Yes. That's true. That that format was like mostly just like the arch thingy and like the one two skeleton. I feel like that's all people played. People just played skeleton recursion with like the bows. Yeah, the end of M20 was not good. That was a format that Luis was ranking up to Mythic with and it was just like, I remember burning a bunch of his drafts and it was like, this is horrible. They stole my secret keeper. They stole one of my drowned secrets. I needed that. That's rude. Of course we drew an arc amoeba. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Mm, I want that. Okay. I think we're just gonna die to these idiots though. Luckily I got there, so I got to have a heartbreaking MCQ. Your MCQ loss was really stupid. It was real dumb. <laughs> That's funny. You do! You get badge number three? That's awesome, lady. Lady, how was work today? I hope you had a really good day. It's good to see you here. Oh, we're dead. They're gonna cast Creeping Chill. I mean, they're just gonna attack. Oh. You did? I love it. That's awesome, Luis. I don't really see how we don't die here. But I guess I do this and this. We have to hit a bunch of Creeping Chills, basically. I also need to hit a land into just... No, we just drew enough. All right, we're dead.
Did you miss something? Or are you trying? No, no, we, we talked about... The, the, there has been no no trolling. Luis had a pretty stupid MCQ where he went eight, like 8-2 eight on day one and like 0-3 oh, day two and he just drew so bad day two. Work was better than yesterday. I'm at a different location. I'm learning how they do things. I'm good, lady. Thanks for asking. I'm happy to hear that work was better today. I'm snowed in, lady. So the no next time thing is because there is... This was his last chance to queue for Mythic Championship 6. Is the reason there is no next time. Like, technically there is going to be a next time in the sense that there will be future MCQs that he could play in. But for the one that mattered, that one's gone. Yeah, so it stinks. I don't know, BK. I watched Luis's matches. He drew... He, like, whiffed on two once upon a times. Like, that never happens. One of them was, like, all lands in a paradise druid, and the other one was, like, all lands in, like, a goose. I should build a snow chinchilla. Lady, let me see if I can show you a picture of how much snow we have here. Uh, I think we do want to wild because we just want to try to find secret plans. I think that would be. That's not bad. I still think we. Uh, it's so good though. No, I'm gonna keep it. This card's just so good. I can still discover next turn and try to find secret plans. This is like the best card in our deck, which says a lot about our deck, honestly. <laughs> uh, it's discovery. Yeah, Lancaster, it's been- Whoa! Hello. Loving that. That was not too shabby. Oh my gosh, what is this, Molly? Let me look. <laughs> Holy moly! That is justice. That's what you get for playing Oko. That's so good. Holy cow. All right. How are we going to do this? I need to do it on turn four, basically. Hold on. I can... I can target myself, mill, play it. The next turn I unsummon, play it, play it again. Unsummon? Yeah. That works. Yeah, on a rampage. We, us too. We got like eight inches here too. Ooh, I like that. Um, let me play this again. I'm gonna have this here just in case I need to unsummon my secret keeper. Like I don't think the water gave matters that much. But I can go unsummon secret keeper, play secret keeper, play secret keeper, unsummon secret keeper, and that should get me my phoenixes back. I wish I had a way to bin this arc light -like phoenix. But I have two in here, which seems good enough. When Canister played this deck in fandom, he literally molded to secrets like you do vintage Bizar Yeah, that's probably right. I Honestly, the deck is does not function without it. Ooh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I think we want to sit... Yeah, I think we're gonna wait for the Merfolk Secret Keeper play. Yeah, and I think I have to make sure that I have Unsummon available. Because I'm going to try to Radical Idea the Phoenix next turn, and then next turn we bring back three Phoenixes. Okay, let me then... I think they have sixed. Oh, hello. Target this. Is this some very janky Phoenix technology? Oh, yeah. Never not on janky Phoenix technology. Bring this back. So that's one spell, two spells. Is this my third spell? I believe it is. Oh, I hit a creepy chill. I'm gonna play another Merfolk Secret Keeper and then summon it. I. Cool. 
Yeah, I did see that gatekeeper. That was unfortunate. What? What the hell? That was so rude. That was so rude. <laughs> wow. You know what they say about that, right? I guess we just try to do it all over again. So stupid. Oh yeah, you walked into a massacre. God, do they have another one? Do they for reals? You hit a narc amoeba. They must have another one, right? Maybe we just don't even bother. Maybe we just hard cast Narc Amoeba and play a Merfolk Secret Keeper. Or just like, creeping chill them or whatever. I feel like they have it. I... I'm not gonna fall for this. Okay. Gift fudge? I would not mind that. I feel like they have it, right? Do they just have another one and they're just trying to debate us next time we play all the phoenixes? Ooh, I like that. How great other seas I have? They are really great. Aren't they so good? She looks so cute. Oh, nice. Now I can actually, like, make all my plays, huh? So I can go radical idea into... I need to draw a sp an actual spell. Come on, actual spell, actual spell, actual spell, actual spell. No! We bricked. So sad. Holy moly. Like, I don't even think we should attack here. You got the rarity sleeves? I don't know why I didn't like the rarity ones as much as Luna. I got Luna in um, Twilight Sparkle. We have good draws from here. Or we could just draw an island, you know. <laughs> that was a premature GG. I didn't GG them, by the way. They GG'd me and I GG'd them back. Oof. The midnight clock. Ooh. Hello. So we need one more spell. Because we can go maximize altitude, flashback, maximize altitude. And we can do it on our own secret keeper so they can't discard cards to bounce this. Ooh, fires of invention. Oh, I love Rarity too. I think she's super sassy, lady. Exactly. But but I I, I might end up getting like one more set of sticks. I might get Nightmare Moon. We'll see. Oh my lord, why? Chemistry's inside we're working this deck. It's a little expensive. But having like flashback spells is, is pretty nice. Your exposure to MLP has not been good. I mean, MLP has like kind of a weird rep, I think. But it is actually like a pretty cute show. Like teaches you a lot about like friendship and stuff. It's... Whoa, they're wishing for so much stuff. They're wishing for more wishes. Yeah, me too, lady. I, I I was very happy to buy all the sleeves because it was also for charity. So I was like, you're basically stealing from kids if you don't buy the sleeves, which is obviously stupid, but I was very happy to get them. Wow, they have so much stuff. They wish for Unmoored Ego, a Lucky Clover. Well, they have a Lucky Clover and then a Tamio as well. So they can't do it this turn yet. Can they? Oh no, sorry, they can. And they're gonna get all my phoenixes. Wait, they named Unmoored Ego to me? Why would they do that? That had to be an oopsie, right? When do the rest of us get to reap the rewards of that? BK! You savage, how could you? Do you really mean that? Yep, that that was kind of a noobsies. Agreed. Oh, no. 
your prowess. Another fires? That's not really gonna do anything. Oh, thank God. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're getting super debated though. get some phoenixes wow you know what it's so brutal if this thing were an instant we could actually like kill them this turn instead we can't one two three we put him down to one how many creeping chills have we do we still have left in the deck one two yeah, or if it were maximized velocity, right? I think maybe we are supposed to kill the Narset. The Narset is actually um, giving us problems. That's sweet, Lancaster. This deck is really, really fun. I really enjoy playing this deck. We've been playing it all day. I think we are supposed to kill Narset. This is really stupid, though. Because they're going to be able to cast Plain White Celebration at some point. I must train harder. Oh, I'll play an island, I suppose. Okay, well, they can't cast Plain White Celebration yet. And if I draw Drown, Drown Secrets, I can hope to get another Creepy Chill. Oh, we're gonna need some help. There are so many really mana screwed, huh? Didn't even activate it? Ooh, that's good. We have two triggers with this. We have to wait a little bit. I guess technically I could dispersal them. I just basically need to get a third spell for my Phoenix because we can discovery maximize altitude, but I don't get to draw for of this, which means I actually need a, something in hand for it to work. You want to build Phoenix so back, but I want to play for Steam events for it. Yeah, that is that can be pretty expensive. Why maximize altitude over maximize velocity? Because we're not actually playing red. The moon looks yeah, exactly. It's this is a mono blue deck. I we actually I think there's a change that we should make in is we should. Oh no. Oh, that's pretty cheap. Tennis and paper. Oh, my phoenixes. Wait, did they miss one? Oh, no, it just it was a visual bug. Yeah, I've, $10 of paper is not bad. I thought they were way more expensive. Well, the highest converted mana cost. This is three, four, three, four. I don't think I actually want to cast this. One, two, three, four, five. And this is seven? We're getting close-ish. Now I regret killing their Narset. Because we would have been able to kill them right there. Sounds good, Lancaster. Thanks for hanging. Bye. Bye-bye. I could see uh, Pioneer spiking lands, but that was, that was lower than I anticipated. I guess fetches are the ones that are really expensive. Fetches are always just so much. I'm looking for Creeping Chill, yeah. We have one more left in the deck. Since we don't have Arclight Phoenixes anymore. If we hit a Narc Amoeba and get to attack with it, maybe. There's three Narc Amoebas in the yard. Uh, if we get a Drowned Secrets, we might try to mill them out. They're at 42 and we're at 15. So we have some time. The problem is the Narset. Play Secret Keeper, maximize attack. Oh yeah, we could do that. I like that. I like that play, Demon Slayers. We'll we'll try to go for that. Yeah, we could surveil for it. Though I've been like kind of hesitant to. Oh shoot, casualties of war. 
They're gonna try to destroy my watery grave. I think that does mean we're gonna have to try to discovery and just bin it. Oof, and Sarkin. Do they even have any sideboard left? <laughs> They've wished like nine times. Oh, hell no. Repeated reverberation? Holy moly. I think you will find my notes helpful. 42. What are they what are they looking for? Another on Mortigo? Oh, are they gonna try to get our creeping chill? Maybe that's their play. Yeah, they got the phoenixes already. This is the third time they've cast on Mortigo. They punted the first time and they named on Mortigo with it. Which was just like, I don't really know what they're trying to do, but... Mission briefing... To cast what from the yard? I think we have to slow roll that. Alright, here's our play. It's gonna be Secret Keeper into hopefully next turn we maximize altitude and kill them but i i don't think this is going to be good enough also if we had a drown secrets there's two in the yard are there any in exile no so if we had another drown secrets we could start targeting them though i do think at this point they with fires of invention they can like double casualties of waras or Actually, triple casualties of Waras. Okay, they're gonna make a dragon. <laughs> Magnificent. So that's the first spell. They get one more spell. What are they naming? To the library. To the library. They have wishes, but they bricked, and they're down to 33 cards. So the mill plan is still alive. Oi, I think we have to bounce our secret keeper here. Okay, we are in really bad shape. Uh, I don't think we need watery grave anymore, right? Because we don't have any secret plans left. I guess we just... Unsummon the Secret Keeper back to our hand. And then that thing dies. The thoughtfulness before action. Oh my gosh. Me. I think we're dead now. Because we're just not... I guess we can just try to surveil into... Oh, that's actually not bad. Mission briefing seems like it could be okay. Okay. Alright, we got the Narcomoeba. <laughs> we can try to have that be the lethal killer. Oh, they actually have... So we have to make sure that we do kill that. And then we have to draw the mission briefing. Alright, basically I think we're dead here, but... We might as well play it out since I think it's not gonna go past this turn. Keep an open mind. Oh no. All right, chat, we did. Me. This deck was fun, though. Oh no, we deranked all the way back to where we started. <laughs> Let me wrap up the YouTube video. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed some self mill. Um, deck is super fun. I think this might just be a better mill deck than it is the Arclight Phoenix deck.
I know, it's a deranking stream. I really do think this deck is probably better as a mill deck. Like, the Arclight Phoenix thing is pretty cute. And is really fun when you get to do it. But, like, the whole Narcomiba Arclight Phoenix thing is just, like, no point. Sunny, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, raiders. Regressing to the mean in 2019, 100%. Uh, if you want to play with this deck, I'll make sure it's linked in the description so you can just board it straight into Arena. And, and it is a really good time. I think we might try making a couple changes so that we can try to hard hard cast our Clyde Phoenix with like a Steam Vents. Um, I think there's a chance we just don't want the Mar Narcomibas at all. You're weak. I can't do 12 hour two days in a row. Oh no! I you So you did one yesterday, right, Sunny? And then you like quit before 12 hours today. Is that what happened? Um... But yeah, anyway, that's it for the YouTube stuff. Bye-bye, YouTube. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us in the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, Mountain Times. See you later.